Hey, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on NVMe. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. Do us a favor, if you find this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, we're going to get rolling today on NVMe. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be super excited about the results, but at least you will learn uh, that uh, uh, what the results are so you don't have to spend a bunch of money yourself testing things out with your 620 at home, okay? So the three different ways to uh, use NVMe uh, would be U.2, M.2, and via PCIe slot, okay? So with uh, U.2, uh, with something like, say, the 630, which is uh, the next gen from the 620, uh, you can get uh, a kit where you put in a card, a uh, special cable that'll hook to the last four slots. Uh, this is specifically for the um, uh, 630 10 bay. Uh, we tried this with all the different ones, uh, all the different form factors for the uh, R620. Unfortunately, uh, none of them uh, have an option where you can use the U.2 kit. So those are out. Unfortunately, uh, there are no U.2 solutions for the 620. So then we went on to the M.2s. And with the M.2s, um, we found some solutions with the 630 where you can't actually use the Dell 14th gen boss card on the 13th gen, but there was a, a workaround that we found with a, a super micro card that would allow you to install uh, two M.2 NVMEs. So we tried that trick with the 620. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Uh, slot bifurcation isn't an option with the 620s. Even with an uh, updated BIOS, uh, it's just not an option. Um, so M.2s are out. Uh, unfortunately, not good news there. Okay, so then we tried uh, the PCIe version, okay? So uh, we learned with the 630, if you've watched that series, um, that you can use it, but you have to have the Dell firmware on it. So it has to be a Dell NVMe PCIe, okay? So if you were to use just a standard Intel or Samsung PCIe card, which we have right here, those won't work on the 13th gen, okay? So you had to have the, uh, the Dell firmware one and that would work. So we tried that with the 620 to see if that trick would work as well and unfortunately uh, neither the Intel, the Samsung, uh, the Dell firmware version of it, uh, none of them worked for uh, the R620. So as I said, uh, unfortunately you're not going to be super excited about this video because in the end none of the options worked. Uh, U.2 is out, M.2 is out, PCIe is out. Um, and if you're curious how we checked, we looked in uh, iDRAC, we looked in, uh, we, we installed VMware, uh, we did everything we could uh, to potentially see it, um, and they just, none of them are options. Uh, it's just not uh, a solution for the, the 12th gen as a whole, uh, specifically with the 629 solution at all. So uh, hope this uh, information helped you at home. Uh, if you found it uh, useful, do us a favor. Click that like, smash that subscribe, and if you are interested in a custom built R620 or you know going to the next gen with a 630 or 640, uh, we custom build Dell, Supermicro, HP, Cisco, you name it. Uh, we'd love to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.